called it a budget to get Britain growing again, but admitted that growth would be more sluggish than expected. Next year's forecast is revised down from 2.1% to 1.7%. George Osborne announced a helping hand to motorists with a cut in fuel duty. The government says drivers will save nearly six pence per litre on petrol. It will be funded by a levy on oil and gas production. There's also £100 million to repair potholes in England's roads. For householders, he confirmed plans to raise the personal tax allowance by £630 for most people. For those trying to get on the housing ladder, there'll be a £250 million shared equity scheme to purchase newly built homes. There's no extra duty on alcohol. Tobacco is up 2% above inflation. Well, George Osborne claimed living standards would rise as his measures would create an economy that could compete in the modern age. We want the words made in Britain, created in Britain, designed in Britain, invented in Britain to drive our nation forward. A Britain carried aloft by the march of the makers. That is how we will create jobs and support families. We have put fuel into the tank of the British economy and I commend this budget to the House. Yeah. Well, what exactly does he mean, putting fuel in the British economy? Well, specific measures announced in the budget included a cut in corporation tax. It's down 2%. Planning rules will be shaken up, giving priority to growth and jobs. And there'll be 21 new enterprise zones. £350 million worth of regulation will be removed from businesses. And there'll be 50,000 new apprenticeships in England. Well, the Labour leader... The Labour leader, Ed Miliband, said the government's cuts were actually damaging the economic recovery, telling the Chancellor it's hurting, but it isn't working. So can the measures really grow British business? Joining me now from Gateshead is Richard Pennycook, the finance director of Morrison's Supermarket. So was this the budget that will give consumers confidence that you need it to be? There were some encouraging announcements in the budget this afternoon. We welcome a number of measures that were taken to ease the pressure on our customers and also to help us as a business to grow. We recognise that the Chancellor had very little room for manoeuvre and we think that in the few steps that he was able to take, uh, certainly it's moving in the right direction. I mean, you, you, you've already had rising profits, you're hardly in trouble, but you'll be benefiting from corporation tax cuts. Is that a useful or a clever use of, of, of money that might have been better off spent stimulating demand? Well, thank you for saying we're, we're a business doing well. We have 11 million customers a week coming through our door and we have a pretty good feel, I think, for, for how the, the UK consumer is feeling at the moment. And the, po the point wasn't to flatter you, it was to say you don't need to benefit from tax cuts, which you're, be which you're well, being given when you're having massive profits. I, I was coming on to the, to the question and in relation to those tax cuts, very importantly, that allows us to invest for further growth in our business. So we will open new stores that creates new jobs. Each of our large stores employs about 350 people and they have real skills. So butchers, bakers, fishmongers, that employment helps to, to stimulate growth. And if we're having that money available to us rather than going to the Exchequer, we can invest that directly for growth in the economy. Do, will these planning uh, simplifications or shake-ups affect you very, very, very much? Are we going to see lots of new Morrison stores springing up? Uh, we hope so. Uh, we have about 7 million households in the UK that don't have easy access to a Morrison's. When we're talking to planning authorities, we really do emphasise uh, the jobs that we bring to the area and those skills that I talked about. We're also the, the biggest employer of apprentices in the UK. The Chancellor announced some helpful expansion to the apprenticeship training schemes. Uh, we again can take advantage of those when we're talking to the planners about opening new stores. Richard Pennycook, thanks very much indeed. Well, the markets now, and the close of the index of 100 leading shares was up 33 points. A short time ago, the pound was down against the dollar by more than a cent, and sterling was down against the euro by almost a third of a cent. One other small piece of budget news, bookmakers Ladbrokes have said they're paying out a four-figure sum to customers who bet that Kenneth Clark would fall asleep during the budget speech. Here's the evidence. Just 12 minutes into George Osborne's statement to the House, the Lord Chancellor didn't appear quite as gripped by his successor's words as his front bench colleagues. A spokesman for Mr Clark has denied the claims.
Wake up, John. Uh, there's much more analysis online at channel4.com forward slash news, including why the nuclear industry were among the biggest winners from the budget today.